Chris Spiker for AV Nice. I'm at my mom's house, Gloria Spiker. She's got a teddy bear collection, and I think we ought to share some teddy bear pictures today. This is my mom, Gloria Spiker. Hi. How mom, are you? How many teddy bears do you have? I have no idea. A lot. I have a lot. And a cuckoo clock. And a cuckoo clock. <laughs> uh, so let's just say 200 bears. Uh, probably. And you started collecting bears when? When we were in Freiburg, Germany, and we were walking down the street and there was a little antique store down in the basement, down about six steps. Wow. And I saw him in the window and I said, oh, why don't we go in there and look at those teddy bears? They're cute. And uh, so we did. We went in. They were $20 each. They're old. Mm -hmm. They have no, uh, I don't find any um, labels. identifying mm -hmm. uh, labels on them or anything, but I think they're probably from the 20s. 1920, uh, and, and we're in 2019 right now, right. so these guys are approaching 100 years. How long does a teddy bear live? Forever. <laughs> if he's taken care of, he lives forever. In your heart especially. But anyway, uh, we were doing antiques at that time, so we thought, well, we'll take them home and sell them in the store. Well, when I got them home, I couldn't sell them. I was going to sell one. I said, no, mm. I can't sell. I can't separate them. They're meant to be together. So they started my um, collecting of teddy bears. And um, they're, um, they don't have, they're, if they had growlers at one time, they're gone. Mm -hmm. But they have the hump on the back, which is... Uh, that's a real bear. That's a real bear. Yeah. That's a real tail. And bear. you say these bears are stuffed with... I think they're stuffed with uh, sawdust. Sawdust. Uh, wow. They used to stuff them with sawdust and shredded shredded wood. Um, so, but they've lasted pretty well, considering. Okay. Let's... Uh, so those are the first two bears. Those are my first two bears. And then you had a collection over here of some small bears. Well, that kind of that kind of was the last thing. I started collecting small bears when I was doing my miniature rooms, and I thought we needed some teddy bears in these miniature rooms. So when I started collecting the little bitty guys, and um, but most of my bears are in storage. I have that cupboard full of. Well, let's look at the mini bears. You want to look at the yep. mini bears? And these are handmade. These little guys are handmade. Look at this guy's even got a bear. They have, their foot is signed. This is a Herman bear. This one is a Herman bear. H-E-R-M-A-N-N. -N. Can you imagine making something this small? This is an honest to goodness teddy bear. His arms move, his legs move, and he's handmade. And um, that's a German bear company, mm -hmm. teddy bear company. And these other two guys, this one and this one, on the foot it says 1984, stitched with so many loving stitches. It's so cute. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine writing that small? Somebody sent that across the Look ages. Look at that on that foot. Oh. Yeah. Huh, that's amazing. And this guy uh, is also a Herman bear, and the car was made in Germany. And um, did he come with the car? He came with the car. Mm -hmm. And then we found this uh, gas. <laughs> an old, an old gas pump. Gas pump. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and it went with the car, so I thought, well, they go together. Okay. We had this guy sent from. Um, the teddy bear shop in um, Whitney, England. He's well traveled. Because we were traveling and yep. we had some other teddy bears sent home. Bears travel well. They do. Small ones especially travel well. <laughs> they're small and they're light. This is my teddy bear journal. Um, I thought it was important to keep track of uh, which ones I bought and how much I paid and where I got them and all that and uh, so I took pictures of them and wrote a little bit about them some I have 
we bought a bunch of old bears. Here are my two little first guys. But these guys we bought in England somewhere and I've sold all those. Kind of miss some of them. <laughs> anyway, um, I just kept a little journal about who they were, where I got them, how much they cost. So now I have this cabinet, <laughs> this beautiful hutch cabinet, and I got a little Steiff bear from Germany. Mm -hmm. So, Mom, tell us a little bit about the collection here. These little guys I've collected from places I've been or people have given them to me, like uh, this little guy from London, a friend of mine brought back for me. So I, you know. And he's got a tag in his ear. Yeah, yeah. It's from whatever uh, company. I don't know what company. Cal Toys. Kid Toys. When people find out you have, you collect something, you know, they bring you, <laughs> they bring you stuff. <laughs> well, they're not all stife. This is a Gund bear back here. That's an American company. And um, this, these little guys I had sent from England, that's a mommy and those are, those are not stife. I don't know what they are, but they're cute. It says stife. Doesn't have but an ear tag. But they don't have buttons in their ear. All Stife bears have this little have this little button in their ear. And uh, this one was the last guy I bought. I was in Germany on a tour. And I said, we'll have to take one more bear home. So I went up to the lady and she said, do you know what that elephant means? And I said, yes, I do. She was surprised. She said, what is it? And I said, Margaret Steiff, who started the Steiff factory, that was one of her first animals that she made. She made a, an elephant for her son, Richard. And the lady was surprised that I knew that. Hmm. So anyway, he was my last uh, the last bunch of times I would buy small bears because they fit in the suitcase and I didn't have to have them shipped and all that. But I thought he was really cute. You mentioned growlers. Do any of your bears actually growl? Yes, they do. Uh, I think that those guys over in the chair... Okay, we'll, go, we'll go see yeah. a growler. Uh, this little guy... He's a Herman bear, but I thought he was so cute because he's sucking his thumb. Not so many bears <laughs> suck their thumbs. <laughs> Not many bears suck their thumbs. Hmm. But Herman usually has this little little medallion on there. So these are, they could be toys. They could be. Um, a lot of people gave their children teddy bears in the old, in the old days. Mm -hmm. That was one of their first toys and that's why we still have some old ones because they lasted forever as long as they were not abused too much yeah you know yeah okay well let's go look at some more bears okay more bears this this is my biggest bear and he does have he's a growler And they're not battery run, so they're... Wow. Yeah. And I've seen what they look like. They're like a little little box, and I don't know how, how the thing works. It's some kind of a... German ingenuity. I guess. And this guy, he always sits on my bed. He's always got, he got a watch, too. Uh, a bear watch. He came with the, with the watch. Wow. That's why I bought him, because I like the watch. Mm -hmm. And I wear that all the time. This is a Herman bear. I think he also has... No, he doesn't. He doesn't growl, but he's cute. <laughs> hey, that doily, by the way, was knitted by who? My grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. And the S is for... Spiker. Sp Spiker? Yeah. My grandmother made those for me. 
and that was after I got married. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's brand new then. <laughs> sort of. This little guy we bought at the at the Steiff factory, and um, they do have a uh, seconds. What do they call them? That wouldn't be a rejects. You can buy rejects, and he's a reject, but I think he's adorable. And the only thing that I can find wrong with him is that his one leg doesn't quite go down right. And I guess they have to be absolutely perfect. Wow. Uh, he does have a button in his ear, but it's plain. It's not a stife button. It's a, it's a <laughs> stife but It doesn't have the name stife on it. Yeah. And that's that's how you know if it's a um, and reject. Arm, I think one arm is longer than the other. I don't know, but I think he's cute. He yep. traveled all over Europe with us. He's got a snazzy hat too. And we bought this little Bavarian hat for him. These crazy people that buy clothes for their <laughs> I bought for clothes for my animals. teddy bears. Anyway, I think he's cute. Even if he is a second, I don't care. What's amazing to me is you remember pretty much the stories where the bears came from and what you were doing. I think that helps you remember. <laughs> it helps you tell the story. Well, yeah, it's it's hard. It's I've got a bunch of them in storage that I, I saw pictures of them the other day and I said, oh, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> But they all have, um, they have a little paper tag generally on their chest, mm -hmm. but they're, the important thing is um, this button in their ear for the stife. Um, Herman is also a German company. And cool. that's, that's about it. What else do you want to know? What a nice collection. <laughs> Love you, Mom. <laughs> Chris Spiker for AV Nice with Gloria Spiker in the teddy bear collection. <laughs>